And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma Lux Control to start off our uh, Rank Up Sunday stream. Uh, today, this morning, I've been uh, messing with some sound settings and everything. I know that um, the sound sound was kind of off yesterday. I moved the moved the mic back to where I had it before. Hopefully, it sounds better. And then also, I tried just kind of upping the volume of both the game and my mic. You know, hopefully it's balanced and everything. Y'all on YouTube, let me know what you think. Because um, I know that uh, a lot of people have been saying that the just the overall volume is really low. So trying to fix that. So let me know um, how, how it is now. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we got, uh, we're going to be playing four kind of tier one decks today. Trying to do the best that we can. Trying to get a bunch of three, two or better records. Um, I'm going to be starting off with Karma Lux, a, a popular one. Uh, these two together are just amazing late game cards, and so we're just trying to get there to the late game. Right now in the um, in the metagame, there's a lot of Demacia running around. Uh, that's probably the the number one most popular deck or Demacia decks right now, and so we're going down to just one deny um, instead of playing more. And uh, instead, I'm getting a Purify in here now. The, this Purify is kind of more on theory than than actually, you know, like tested a whole lot. But I feel like this could be a great answer to Grizzled Ranger. Because if you pur Purify a Grizzled Ranger, you're basically getting rid of the 4-4 part. You know, like they'll still have the 4-1 part. You still have to block the 4-1 part or trade or, you know, get it out of there somehow. But you can get rid of the free 4-4. So, you know, you can spend basically two mana burst speed to kill a 4-4. Uh, but besides that, um, you know how... Uh, the Demacia decks do a whole lot of pumping with like Bannermen and with uh, War Chefs and, and Big Scythria, all those things like pumping up uh, different creatures. Maybe you can purify something to make um, a trade a lot better. <clears throat> or even just purifying like a, a six mana Scythria to keep them from getting that trigger could be important. Um, even against like Burn Aggro, purifying a Boom Crew Rookie is huge. Because if you do that, you can just sit there and take one damage from the Boom Crew Rookie, and you don't have to try to use so many resources of like blocking it, like maybe multiple times. Um, you can just you know block the other stuff and just have the little one four be hitting you. So I want to give it a try, um, and then even even against like these kind of control decks, like there's usually like Radiant Guardians running around that maybe you need to purify, or um, like a Commander Ledros to keep them from putting the Ledros back into their hand. I don't know, I, I feel like it could be a useful card as a one of. So we got that. And then the two mana slot. I know a lot of people play Eye of the Dragon. Last time we played the deck, we tried Claws of the Dragon. Um, I'm not, I'm just not a huge fan of Eye of the Dragon, especially in a deck like this where all the spells are expensive. If you're talking about more of like an, an Ionia, uh, base deck like Ionia Bilgewater where you're playing a whole lot cheaper spells and you're playing you're getting two spells each round a lot easier and Then you know, then I can see Eye of the Dragon, but instead I'm gonna go with Mage Seeker Persuader where this sometimes will just be a two mana three two and That's okay. You know, like it can trade with War Chefs and you know, it can just kind of trade with different things But in the late game this turns into a great card if you've cast a Remembrance um, or an Unyielding Spirit, but you know, usually a Remembrance then later on at two mana you got a four three challenger and that can be an awesome card for only two mana so uh yeah so going with the persuaders there um let's see concerted strikes a great removal spell we didn't really play that last time we get got that in here now and that's what we got so let's play some karma lux control we're gonna go play five games over and ranked uh not verse ai sorry i was doing verse ai to test sound levels Oh man, we're at 771, and our last few days have been kind of rough <laughs> with our, our ranking up. Probably, what was it, just two days ago, we were at like 100, maybe th maybe three days ago. We were like around 100 something. But that's okay. So now it's Sunday. Time to rank back up. All right, Swain, Twisted Fate. I like that. Gonna get rid of Deep Meditation and a Karma. And do I get rid of the other Karma? I kind of think so. We'll keep the Grizzled Ranger. <clears throat> cool, we got a Karma back. Anyway. 
We just can't get rid of karma, can we? We just can't get rid of karma. Explosives primed. Everything's in place. Are there certain matches where you'd want to keep karma in the opening hand? Yeah. Um, again, like the slower matchups, you really want karma. So, like, the decks that are not killing you right away. I would want to have karma. The aggressive matchups, mulligan karma. Remember it. Darn. I'll shoot the wings off of Viljwas. So it's really not a very good mulligan. Uh, I mean, I guess I could purify. Yeah, I don't think yeah, purify I wouldn't want two. I think that's I think that's too many purifies. I wouldn't want two of those. But I think having the first one, there's a lot of situations where it can be useful, but but yeah, that's that's a kind of card that can be dead quite often as well. So I I would don't think that you should have two of them. I think it's a card you either play zero or one. Just one turn too late, Remembrance. One turn too late. Slow down, will you? Never lost a fair game. Or played one. So against an aggro deck, like, what are our two worst cards? Is it Unyielding Spirit and Karma? Are those our two actual worst cards in our deck? <laughs> and, like, this, we just mulligan and just draw all of those? We draw our only Unyielding Spirit and all three Karmas? Man, I... <laughs> I hope this day is just not like the rest of the week, where we can't have anything go right. I don't know why my luck is so bad right now. Everything's in place. Denounce magic. Yeah, I would like this this remembrance to be Radiant Guardian if possible. coins and carnage. I obviously obviously I just don't care if karma dies. I'm just playing karma to to trade. Or I want to try to set up this to be Radiant Guardian. I've got us covered. But I'm probably dead. Just did nothing until Grizzled Ranger on turn four. Radiant Guardian. We're hoping they don't kill us. I have my orders. We're gonna have to get very lucky.
terrible mulligan. <laughs> we drew our, our four worst cards in our deck. <laughs> All four of them. I mean, I guess I could have... I mean, I mulliganed three things that weren't any good. I could have mulliganed Grizzled Ranger also, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we had basically the worst possible draw we could have. Okay, we got a Radiant Guardian. We got a two drop. Can we stay alive to Radiant Guardian? That's the real question. They get to attack turns one, three, five, which is unfortunate. We'd really, we would really like to be attacking turns one, three, five, because then they would only have two attacks before a potential Radiant Guardian. What is this? Why are we drawing Lux Lux? I may not actually be able to turn on Radiant Guardian. Basically, the problem is, is if I do any blocking, I'm just not going to be able to turn on Radiant Guardian, so I have to wait till this turn. Everything's in place. You look guilty. What are you hiding? Trying. Banish the unworthy. Right, so I can have either concerted strike. Like, can I even can you even play concerted strike with one ally? I guess you probably can't, can you? Alright, so let's deny. Came close. One more mana, Will of Ionia. I think if I, I think if we had something to do on either turn three or turn four, obviously, but besides that, if just the attacks were different, if we like we attacked turn two, turn four, that could have been different too. All right, another aggro deck. I could see keeping one Will of Ionia, because their deck's all about like pumping things up quite a bit. I could see keeping a Will of Ionia. This is our best hand so far. We actually have like a Badger Bear or a Shadow Assassin to play on turn three. We haven't had any Badger Bear, Shadow Assassin, or Remembrance on turn three any of these games. Let's 
These are respectable cards. Without yeah, I do. On my, I do. I will play my part. Badger Bear. Seize control. Closing in on the mark. Dang, not scared. My favorite board is probably the Freljord one. Really like how that looks. The, the frozen board. That's probably my favorite. They won't suffer long. Shadows cut deep as any weapon. It's too late for you. Wasn't too bad. Not sure if I'm supposed to be casting the deep meditation right there. Gonna kind of just see what they do. They have two Omen Hawks. Could have some things that are pretty big. Start to strike my best play. Or is it Remembrance? Single combat first? I, would, I mean, I don't really want to trade these. Block the three four. Two one block two one. An apt pupil. My life for the order. Time for this candle to flicker out. I'll melt away your shadows. Huh. I don't know if I've ever heard the Zed and Lux back and forth before. Hey unguided none, good morning. You got a 7 0 win streak with the Vladimir Swain deck. Awesome. Climb from platinum, from uh, gold to platinum. Good job. This is my choice. You cannot escape. The real question is blocking here. Go to three, block here. I guess we block there. If we're gonna do that, we should do it this way. Yeah. So keep. 
keep us at six. They do something, you know, we'll have the single combat. I'm not going to just single combat first. But if need be, we can single combat, and especially the four one that's just blocking that ephemeral. We can have that single combat something. I don't know, maybe I should just pass and let this happen. Again, that's that's really put we're still in a good spot, like we have a Lux. I'm not sure what the worst that can happen is if I single combat. Though. I'm not, I just I don't know what the worst that could happen would be. Into darkness. Do not fear the shrouded path. I walk your path alone. Okay. See, I don't really like this unyielding spirit because of... Um, because of Will Vionia on their side. Can I concerted strike? I guess I guess we can try it. Even though I only have one enemy. Or I only have one ally. I guess I'm not even killing that thing. What am I doing? <laughs> Come on close. By the light! All right, so maybe I should just deep meditation instead of the other, the other thing in deep meditation. We would have killed the Zed. Eh. I don't know. For me, I deep meditation. A lot of mana. Ooh. That can be useful. That can be useful. Play 
fine with me. Alright, down to three. I think, I'm, I think I'm okay at three, though. Pretty sure we're okay. Let's brighten up their day. Yeah, that was a good purify. Definitely. Yeah, Purify is not a card that, again, uh, that I don't think you should ever, I don't think you really need two ever, but it's, it's kind of nice to have that one, to have just that, that one option. Lux is at four out of six, so this would make it six. No, I'm, I'm basically not planning on playing on Yielding Spirit. The uh, question was, am I planning on on Yielding Spirit, Radiant Guardian? I'm, I'm not really planning on playing either on Yielding Spirit or Radiant Guardian, to be honest. I'm planning on killing them before that. Maybe I do play Radiant Guardian now. Let's see, so I could single combat with the 4-1 and then play Radiant Guardian. The next turn I have double Will of Ionia. And I wanna I wanna do this before the final spark. Uh, because I want the final spark to overwhelm over and do damage to them. Purify is terrible versus a lot of meta decks at the moment. And I honestly disagree. That's why I have it in the deck. It's a card that I don't usually play. But I, um, I think there is like a useful situation against basically every uh, meta deck with it right now. And especially considering Demacia is probably public enemy number one deck that you play against the most. I really want it there as another Grizzled Ranger answer. Alright, Karma should finish this out. The Karma Lux combo. 
Where there is life, there is hope. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. We'll just do the Fuzz whole give give an ally a barrier as burst speed at six six mana. We get a final spark. Cast it. It's two final sparks. You know, one does four damage here. The other does four damage there. And that's zero. Unless they got something with their two mana. Need like an elixir of iron. Okay, we play on. No more holding back. Um. Oh, we need to play either of those cards. They have deny. Oh wait, no, because this doubles up, right? Right, right, right. Yes, yes. If you if you play Prismatic Barrier with the Enlightened Karma, do you shuffle two Lux into the deck? Yes, you do, because yeah, you're you're playing two of them. Each one says uh, shuffle a Lux into your deck. So yes, you do. So I don't think they gain any life. Yeah, because it prevents the damage. The superior tactic is to never give up. All right, never give up. We got to win. We actually had one of our respectable turn three plays we had a couple of them it's nice having a badger bear or a shadow assassin or a remembrance by turn three that helped us not get too far behind so we played will of ionia on their five six in the previous turn where both of the beams crash into the nexus for, for lethal i wasn't exactly sure i'm honestly i'm not exactly sure how that would work Yeah, I'm honestly not exactly sure how that would work. So, you know, like, I have both thermogenic beams targeting their uh, their creature, and then, like, it was the 5-4, they used the Elixir of Iron to make it a 5-6. If, um, if I bounce it, I don't know if, like, the, I don't know if those things just don't resolve or if they do, like, continue to overwhelm. I guess it would... It would likely be that they continue to overwhelm since you think about how like when one's gone the other one still resolves. So I guess the most likely scenario would be they would both still resolve. Mirror matchups. Be interesting. So I only traded one because if if they die here, then we can Radiant Guardian. Definitely a chance they have their own Radiant Guardian. No, it looks like they don't. Um. I want to have my Badger Bear block their Grizzled Ranger, so then I get to play Radiant Guardian. 
They'd have two four fours and I'd have a five five. Yes. We could just pass back. There we go. That's okay, I guess. Yeah, they just pass back. That was smart. That was a very smart play by them. Very smart play to pass back. Ah, quit your yapping. They are now pretty far ahead because I wasted too much mana. You know, like they got to spend that extra four mana. It's like even if I radiant guardian now, they can radiant guardian. They can karma. They can lux. Justice will be served. Yeah, that virtue guides me. Definitely hurts. The great play by them not attacking. Don't think I'm winning this now. Should I should have just played my other grizzled my grizzled ranger on turn five also. Ended up being a big mistake. I just can't play Karma and they have single combat. I can't risk it. Thought about using the health potion so then I'd have two mana deep meditation, but I think I need to wait a turn for deep meditation. At least that was my plan, I was waiting a turn. Looks like we're pretty dead. Ionia speaks through me. So one of their cards is a random card that Karma made. One of those six.
that's not good. The body must thrive for the mind to be free. So I know if I wait, if I wait one turn, I get I get to gain an additional three life. But instead, I really want to have two spells cast so the deep meditations cost two mana. Peace begins within. Those are all useful. How am I spending 10 mana? Do I just pass? If I play Remembrance, I can still have Will of Ionia available. Can't have that plus Repost. Uh, maybe I do this. So let's leave my Karma vulnerable, but we we'll probably need to just get the the things out here. Time to bounce Lux. The sun is shining. We should too. We should too. Don't have any great plans right now. You cannot escape. I think it's repost on the karma. Heck, I don't know. Maybe I just let the karma go. Let's see if we purify Radiant Guardian, block there and purify. And repost here. And I still have four mana. I could still like remembrance afterwards. I wish I had one more man. I really wish we could concert strike as well. Um, maybe, I just, maybe I just block here and let this thing live. I'll protect you. 
That was a Lux's Prismatic Barrier. Alright, so they only have three mana left. I think I just let this happen. Yeah, so it's either Concerted Strike, Kill, Lux, or Purify, get rid of this thing, and then Remembrance. Like, we could, we could, you know, we could have Purified and gotten rid of that, you know, by blocking here and Remembrance. But I think that, yeah, getting rid of Lux is probably goal number one. It's a pretty cool little pattern. I like how that looks. That was bad. Uh, no, I don't. Yeah. Uh, Seda, no, I don't. Switch games here to Legends of Runeterra. If they have a Will of Ionia, I'm in a ton of trouble. Probably need to play the Silverwing Vanguard to get multiple blockers in play instead of playing Remembrance. Really hope they don't have Will of Ionia. That I guess. Hope burns on. We've only seen one champion so far. We've seen zero Luxes and one Karma. In 60% of the deck. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. They counter this, I lose. The safer play would have been playing a Badger Bear, I guess. It's not really a winning play. Well, wait, no. So we chomp, chomp. Okay, I guess I guess we don't lose, lose yet. Never mind, we don't lose yet. I am 
Virtue guides me. Don't have any great plans. Let the light guide you. Certainly don't have any great plans. Um, like concerted strike, maybe take out like a radiant guardian. I guess we can try to take out like a Lux. Next turn, if possible. I thought I played that perfectly. It did, it did a wonderful job. It made a lot of really good decisions. And they go in for the concerted strike to kill their. You know, obviously my turn five. They did a perfect job not attacking. And then later on. Um, going with the Concerted Strike line instead of going with Purify. I should have done Purify. And not tried to kill Lux. The, the, the killing Lux lost me that game. Like, if I just Purified and then had enough, you know, the other um, Remembrance post-combat and double spelled with that, I think that would have been the difference in the game instead of trying to kill Lux. So Remembrance would be my best draw. There's another aggro deck. That was quite a good game, though, that we just played. I made a couple of mistakes. Opponent didn't. And they won. It does help having your champions, you know, having Lux. Like, we had the one Karma, it was great. They drew three Luxes. That was very good. Opponent is not here or something? What is going on? So, of course, I'm not planning on playing anything this turn. Planning on playing Remembrance next turn and then turn four having double Persuader. with a Mega Rain. Best run while you can. 
and the deck hand. So I already got a two for one. And then a parlay. Got a three for one. And so now we're up two cards, because our one card traded for three. Good two drop, Mage Seeker Persuader. <clears throat> it's a good two drop. Where there is life, there is hope. All right. through a lot of cards. Which is not bad. I don't want to make this trade. Yeah, that's true. The more, the that's true that the more, uh, the more random five cost followers that they print in Demacia, the worse that remembrance will get. But with that being said, it's still a, a very good card. It's just not, not necessarily reliable. Definitely kind of like our ideal start. Remembrance on three, double Mage Seeker Persuader. That's a pretty ideal start. Treasures of the ages for life. Illuminate the enemy. I'm supposed to attack with Lux. Maybe I don't. You picked the losing side. I win. Oh. Uh, my deep meditation. It's always a good card to take from the top of the deck. I rarely forget. I never forgive. Captain on deck. Going to be going. I am reborn of salt and bride. Oh. I should have checked about getting flank leveling up. I was gonna say I'm most likely going to be going single combat and having this fight gang flank. That's what I was gonna say, but I I didn't check about leveling up. I should have just done that before the mega rain resolved. 
track them down. Alright, so this does one to everything. Block here. Save the most amount of damage that way. Guilty. Being at eight's probably fine. No more holding back. Coward. He started without me. Silent as death. Hey, to one, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thanks for joining. In. Neither the flames nor the depths could claim me, Captain. Virtue guides me. Purify the powder keg. Guess that's the thing we could do. And then it'd be an O1 that could attack and block and wouldn't have vulnerable. <laughs> Just be a regular old O O1. Yeah, you're excited for the for the balance patch tomorrow, see if things get changed up. Yeah, that always is exciting. See what changes. I, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna change. Should I save the deep meditation next turn for the combo with Karma? Well, the thing is, I wasn't. I'm not. I guess I wasn't really planning on playing Karma next turn. And I, don't, I liked how it just cost two mana right now, but I, I guess I could have saved it. Not really planning on, on spending five of the mana on karma. But I don't know, maybe maybe we should have. Barrel. Thank you, Kitty Dexterity. We purify a powder keg. Has anybody ever done that before? Has anybody ever purified a powder keg? Or are we gonna be the first person ever? Just pass? They're just passing? Explosives. Okay. Deal with that gangplank attack trigger and everything. They said they were good passing. Powder keg. Uh, 
Paddle Fury. Let's go. I like it. All right, let's let's try this for science. Okay. So yeah, that that is what would happen. So that that will put that back in their hand. Both of these will still resolve and because they'll have overwhelm, so they'll still overwhelm the damage. Okay, so we finished two and three. Um, honestly, the deck felt, you know, like, I know we just went two and three, but I really like how the deck felt. It, it felt, it felt really good. I mean, I guess that should, that's probably the case for the, for the, uh, tier one deck. I liked having the one purify. I did. I think that was a, a good card to have as a one of, and I honestly just, I just kind of liked our list in general. I liked the Mage Seeker Persuader. Like, our first two losses, we had some terrible, you know, we played against two aggro decks where we really had some terrible luck with, um, our mulligans. You know, like we, like the first game, you know, we, we mulliganed three cards and we drew Unyielding Spirit, Karma, Karma. Um, you know, like arguably the worst cards in the deck against aggro. And, uh, you know, then we had, yeah, we had the other aggro deck that we mulliganed and again didn't, you know, had nothing to, to do. But like we had against Burn, we had Mage Seeker Persuader on turn two and Radiant Guardian on turn five and nothing to do on three or four. So, you know, not really not the best of luck um, for our first two losses. Then we played the, the mirror match. That was a really good long game. Very good game. The opponent played great. Um, they, yeah, they, like the turn five, they, they made a really great decision to not attack and set up my Radiant Guardian and just pass and make me waste all the mana and, and so on. They, they played great, but it was a really good long game. And we ended up losing. That's okay. Um... But yeah, so I, even though we went two and three, uh, the first two games were were quite unlucky, but they were ones that I, I would expect to have a better chance against. Yeah, kind of recommend this deck if you if you like you know like for as far as ranking up, I I think this deck felt pretty powerful. So, so there we go, Karma Lux Control. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of uh, the card choices. Let me know what you think of Purify, Mage Seeker, Persuader. I really liked it. I think I really like it more than Eye of the Dragon in this kind of deck. I really do. Uh, like, this would have been a great card to have in the mirror match if we would have drawn this to be able to, um, you know, challenge Karma or, uh, or, you know, trade with Badger Bears at two mana. It would have been a good card to have, but we just never had it. Um, anyway, that's it here for Carmelux Control, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.